All right, well today we are working on our trailer here and this is a 1967 Gitchner Pioneer military tool trailer. Basically they threw these things out of airplanes and uh, well, they help build bridges and you know, beat, I don't know if we beat, but uh, they help fight in Vietnam and I'm sure other wars as well. This poor thing, it's been shot at. You can see the bullet mark, it's signed on the inside, which is really kind of neat to think that this is a bulletproof trailer. However, the time has come. We got our lettering today. So, DIYLettering.com. I'm going to throw them a little shout out because, man, this is awesome. So, they, you go on there and you design this. It took five minutes to design all this stuff. And it's awesome. So, I'm going to put these big ones on the side, the number on the back. Like I said, the big ones are going to go across here. But... On the back, I did one already, and uh, it went on super, super easy, really cool, and now we have that gold leaf lettering we're after. So, let me kind of show you how this goes. What you want to do, you want to tape it across the top, and then you can peel it and hinge it. I'll show you what I mean when I set up this bottom one here. And... Uh, you can measure all this stuff and pick your dimensions, pick your style, pick everything you want to do this. It took minutes to make this. It was really, really cool and kind of fun. So, like I said, this I laid this out so it fits right on the back of what I need. It'll fit on the, the black part. Same with these big long letters. And I picked gold leaf and I also picked the reflective gold leaf. So if you hit this at night with headlights, it's going to shine. And that should look pretty sharp up there. So, well, let me get this laid out, and I'll show you how, what I'm talking about. All right, well, there you go. Now, what you need to do, you need to lay this out, tape this on. As you can see, I have my spacing across there. I have spacing there, spacing on the black on the top. Measured this out, laid it out, and tape it on the top piece of cake. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to cut this right down the middle where we want this line to be with these doors. As you can see, I had to, you know, split a few of these letters. Just to be expected. Now, let's see. The O looks good there. I'm going to hang as much as I can to this side. Okay, now what that did, that perfect spacing is now two separate sheets. Okay, so take our handy dandy little squeegee thing, and this was like 99 cents. So when you order this stuff, buy this too, because it really does help. And you know, we want this to be flat. Now I've never done lettering before, and that came out absolutely perfect up there. Once it sits in the sun, it'll be even better. Make sure you clean your surface. You don't want any dust on it or it's not going to stick right. And if you have really big stuff, you can work with water on there and a little bit of uh, dish detergent or soap so it can get the bubbles out and slide a little bit. And you can cut these individually if you just want to do one little piece at a time. I left this as a whole sheet. It worked really, really well because it's super easy. So let me show you what we're going to do. Now we're going to flip this up. And we're going to peel the back here. And you can see it's already starting to peel just like that. So, if we peel that and pull it and let it come down. Just like a band-aid, nice and easy. Now, take your squeegee and run over it. You can see it's pushing it on there really, really nicely. Now you know you got it all on there just perfect. And who cares if you wear this out? It was 99 cents, you know? You throw it out when you're done anyway. 
Okay, now don't worry about the groove here because we'll wrap that in a second. But once you know you have that on there, now, look at this. Here's where the magic happens. Now, <coughs> excuse me. What I was doing is rubbing this as I was peeling it just to make sure that this was sticking really well because God forbid it comes up. Let me uh, do that at the same time. How cool is that? Ta-da! Just like that. Piece of cake. Like I said, uh, this was DIYLettering.com, and these are reflective gold leaf. And yeah, sure, you can't really see the black on the edge like here you can with against the red. Still super, super cool. Let's finish this up here. Peel it up. Find this. And there may be a better way to do this, but hey, I don't know. I've never done this before, and it's working absolutely perfectly. And it's going so smoothly and easily, I wouldn't change anything. And now when I'm all done with this, I will shoot another coat of clear on this and seal these letters in there, and it'll help really make this trailer pop. That's what it needs is that final coat. And now you just grab the end, and like I said, just rub this while you're doing it so you know you have your corners down. Because if the corners of this start coming up, you're in big trouble. See what I mean, how the lettering's coming up there? So now what we want to do is go and just push on that with this just a little bit. We'll come back and wrap that in a second. All right, yeah, why don't I have my little helper here hold some of this? <laughs> Ta-da! Oh, that's awesome. Now, you have this back side with a little blade. You go through and you can push and wrap your letter right around there. Right where it needs to be. And then this thing even fits right in grooves, pushes, squeegees out whatever part you need to to get any air out of there i am thrilled the fact that that's looking that good doesn't that look amazing <laughs> Bing! wow yeah wow is right 
And I mean, it's not the cheapest thing in the world, but you know, if you want quality stuff and you want good stuff, you pay for it. And now it's done. And I'm sure people are gonna, you have no choice but to read this while you're following me down the road. And that's exactly what you're after. So, well, pretty cool. Now I just have to figure out how I wanna lay out this side. Basically, I guess what I'll do is I'll measure from side to side, find my center point, top and bottom, and then I'll take and lay this out and mark my center points, top and bottom. So I know, okay, this is perfectly centered on my panel. And then I'll probably draw a line down the bottom, or at least measure up to the bottom edge of this. Eh, so many inches from this bottom edge and this bottom edge. I mean, if I use a level, it won't work because the trailer's not sitting level. So I have to go by the lines that are on the trailer itself. But uh, here, why don't you hold this a second? Honey, it looks so good. Awesome. I want to see what this looks like when I put it on there. And the other trick is to lay this out a little bit. It comes all rolled up. So you want to lay it out a little so it has a chance to flatten itself. But yeah, that's true. Boy, is that going to be perfect sitting on there. Oh, you know, this is the best part right there. Stunned. Oh, that's going to be absolutely gorgeous. It will. And all in gold leaf, it's going to look fancy and high end and exactly what you want. It's perfect. And Even it's reflective. the sizing is so perfect. It is. Because we laid it out and designed it. laid out. I mean, yeah. hold that edge. Yeah. And you have to measure it. And yeah, I mean, it was a piece of cake. I measured, okay, anything between 60 and 84 inches would work. And then I had for a height, anything from 12 to 18 inches would work. Because so I didn't want to hit this handle and I didn't want to be too high up where you'd be on the curve. And I'd say we'd come down about an inch or two. So it kind of keeps it flat. Or maybe just like that. That's curved. That's on a curve. That looks awesome. I, now I can't wait to lay this out and stick it. So uh, as soon as I get this taped up, I'll show you this one as well. All right, well, my little helper here and here helped me lay this one out. So we have that perfect. It's centered nicely. The line is straight off of what we need here at the bottom. Gives enough room. I can get my hand in here without hitting all the lettering. So that's kind of perfect right where it sits. I like it. Looks good, doesn't it? All right. What we're going to do is we're going to cut some lines in this, I think, to make it a little easier. We'll cut up here. And we'll cut here. And here. And here. Maybe even like that. So we can do each word at a time. Keep it kind of easy. Let's see. Okay. Well, we cut this in different spots. And that'll make it easy to do this, then this. Then this, then this, then this, I think. So that should help. So let's start with this one here. We'll peel this back, get to the hinge, start pulling it down. Stuck to it. Uh oh. That's not good at all. I don't know what we're doing now. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go over this and make sure it sticks really well to the backing first. So it doesn't peel off like that because that's not good. It started to peel our letter off of the main backing sheet. We don't want that to happen or, you know, it's not going to work right. And you're never going to line that up later once you take this off. So, let's see if we got it right now. Yeah, I can see it just starting to come off. Looks like it's laying right. There we go. That's on where we want it. Now that we have that. Oh, perfect. Now get rid of this. It's over that sheet. And that's kind of why you want to do this in sections, because you don't want to have this whole big thing in a, a fold like that in the middle of it, because it's going to screw everything up that you're trying to do. So once you know you have this pressed on really well, you can start to peel the magic back. It's like Christmas when you get to open a present. At least a good present. Something you've been working on. If you like this video, check it out. I'll give you a uh, tour on this trailer. We have a quite a few little videos on it because it's a unique trailer gets a lot of attention from everyone 
think this is off right here. I might have to peel that up and fix that one little bit because it shouldn't show. Uh -oh. Careful. It's not showing right here either. It still wants to peel up. Got it. Now I got that to stick down. Just took a second. Wow. All right. So what I'll do is I'll take a knife and I'll lift this up. Let me do that right now before that gets a chance to set. Add that knife before it's back here. Let's see if we can do this. Get under it. Don't touch it with your fingers or you're going to mess up the, uh, the glue. And all we got to do is just change where that's running to. Right there. Good enough, I think. Uh, no, I don't like the way that looks. Right, babe? Yeah. And make sure, you know, it's one thing if it touches the knife, it's a whole nother if it touches your finger. So we have that part good. Now we had it good. It's tricky to get this. Just where I want it. There, now it's covering that. What do you think, coming downward a little bit? Mm hmm I definitely don't like that. It's sticking up too high. Yep. And you could stretch them. I mean, they are vinyl. Right like that. That's what it should be. Or should this be down even further? But no, it can't because that was showing the silver part. Okay, so that's on there. Make sure it sticks. Make sure every edge is good. It's on there. Mm -hmm. I like it. All right. Yeah. Now, we can work on the next section. Rub it over, make sure this is sticking very well so it doesn't do the same thing again. It starts to peel away. And we'll do this top one. I guess we'll do all of them in one shot, kind of, but we'll see how this goes. Just a little bit at a time. Work your way down because you don't want to kink it in the middle. Cool. Oh, this 99 cent squeegee. <laughs> Worth every penny. <laughs> Guess we can just keep right on going with this because that should everything's in line where we need it to be. That's the cool part about laying this out on the computer. I'm gonna get rid of this tab because it's just gonna be in my way. Slightly intimidating, but it's really it's actually rather soothing. Neat feeling. Just peel it slow so you know you get every letter just the way you want it to be. This couldn't even be any easier to lay out. The fact that you don't have to mark all these once you measure it and just give them the numbers you want and put it in the computer. Gives you a hundred different designs and fonts and style. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh 
shoot. Don't know how to fix that. Um, let's see. Damn. I don't want to lose that spot. I think I already did, though. Okay, let's see if we can... Hmm. All right, I think I'm just going to follow this through, peel that, and then try to stick it afterwards. God, I hope I got it right. Make it work. Oh, darn it, I'm using the S too. Okay, now I have to figure out how to set that, of course. <sighs> Who knows how that's going to work. I hope it works right, because it's going to really stink if I get this wrong. Let's just get this one on there before we mess with it anymore. Make sure you go slow. Like I said, I missed this little piece on there and oh, I don't know how the heck I'm going to pull this off. I think what I'll do is I'll cut this out, stick this on there. Actually, I have another piece I can stick right over it this right here so if I stick this right on there it's crap in the way here that'll give me another surface to work off of just like that so now this is back to it and stuck on it and I'll cut that out and I'll lay that right where I need it to go we'll make sure it sticks really well hopefully this works I don't know I've never never done it but we'll try That'd be my guess rather than try to peel it and stick it any other way. So as long as these are coming out just the way we want them. That looks like it. Looks like there's a piece of something behind that. There is something behind that. I have to check that. Again, you want to use an X-Acto blade, a real sharp razor blade. And don't touch it with your fingers. Once you get your oils from your fingers, any sticker's ruined. You learn that the hard way back when you're a kid. Never touch them. Cool. I think we got that one pretty good. Other than that part, but that I should be able to fix. So leave that. We'll come back and get this part. Babe, I think it's your paint. Is it I don't paint, think a paint. No, it's. I think there's no? something behind that because if huh. the paint dips are in it, they're down. They're not they a are. bulge. That's what's making Fair me enough. think that. Yeah. I mean, this thing had rust marks here and there. That's why you could see somebody's paint marks. I don't know if you could pick that up on the camera. But you can only do so much work to a work trailer before you know you're just kind of. It's not a show trailer, it's a work trailer, and it's going to get abused, and it's going to get beaten. We want it to look as nice as we can without being ridiculous. Now, make sure you catch me if I get any of these wrong and it starts to peel across again. Looking really good here. They're coming out just right. Wow. So soothing, and what a cool feeling to see that come together. Okay. So we'll touch that. Just make sure these are all down on the edges. Any little bubbles in there, you want to work them out. We'll come back. Ah. Uh, now might be a good time to do this little eye while I have uh, while I'm thinking about it. So let's cut what we need. I think let's cut this whole eye right out of there. Now I'm just completely guessing how you do this. I think this is how I would well this is how I would do it and this is how I'm going to do it. So basically I'm going to peel this backer and I'm going to touch that right to it. And go where I want it to go. But first, I really want to make sure this sticks to this, because I don't want to have that same issue. And the fact that I never touched any of this 
should work just fine. So let's see what we can end up with here. Yup, it's working. There we go. The backer's coming off. Don't touch anything else. Touch the paper, but not the sticker. And we're going to try to line that up. What we're going to do, we're going to cut right to that edge. Now I can see exactly where I need that edge to go and get that coloring right. I think right there. We're going to go with it. Whether that's it or not, we're taking it. So, now we'll peel that up, cross our fingers, and hope that we didn't screw this up. And will you even be able to tell? You can't even tell. Look at that. <laughs> That's awesome. So don't worry if you screw up. Just take your time. Don't panic. It worked by cutting these little sections. I had a piece to put over it to make this work and keep going. So cool. Let me just get uh, a couple of these bubbles out of here. Make that work. Oh, I want to check this because something didn't seem right with this. It's a fold. Shoot. That's folded over on itself. Hmm. <sighs> I hate to say it, but if I try to undo this fold, it's not going to come out. It's going to get ripped and it's going to show color. Yeah, I don't think there's any way to get that. I think we. I think what we're going to do. I don't think do, you can tell. You might. It's missing this little swale on the S. Okay, now you can tell. And if you look really close, you can see how that was folded inside there. So I think we'll leave it and what we'll do is we'll clear coat right over it and let it seal and because if you mess with this you're probably going to see a color line there because something's not going to it's like a band-aid once it touches itself it's not the same. So we got that we got that let's keep moving here and see if this works. Yell at me if I get any of this wrong as we're okay, pulling this down. Hmm. All right. Of course, the cat's going to start crying now. What do you want? <laughs> oh God, it does it at 5 o'clock in the morning and starts crying. Well, thanks for helping me there, hon. Of course. Yeah, it's a lot easier with you I holding wanna... the camera than me trying to do it. Yeah. All right, I think I got that one all right. Now that I did, I'm going to cut this whole section right out of here so I don't have to mess around with it. Rub. You can't rub enough. Make sure this stuff is on there because God forbid your little edges come off because it mess up your whole day. <laughs> LLC. You know, if you have a business, should probably have an LLC or an S Corp or something. But it protects you from people suing you. Everybody's sue happy these days. I don't want your crap.
It's working. It's working. Here we go. The magic moment right now. Bum, bum, bum. And that, ladies and gentlemen, has been the plan. Oh, that looks like a million bucks. I'd hire me. You know, you'd like to see this thing sitting outside your driveway working on your house or your property. You know darn well this guy, you know, he's going to do what that needs to be done for little touches and little details. It says quality. Looks great, doesn't it? It's incredible. Yeah? It's incredible. It's incredible. Yeah. You know, like I said, it wasn't the cheapest thing in the world, but uh, and I got a bunch of paper on the ground. But now, as we stand back, that's exactly what that trailer needed to look like. Just the little touches, the painted lug nuts, the, the gold leaf, and the moaning cat. It's got it all, right kiddo? Yeah. Yeah. Hope you learned something, Mr. Brian's Amazing World. Like and subscribe, check out our other videos. All right, well, we got this side on. Looks absolutely perfect. And we learned a couple things in the process. And uh, we came back and we fixed the S. Basically, it was tucked in there. Like I said, use a razor blade. Do not touch the sticker with your fingers. And I was able to peel it back and make it right. It's done. It looks amazing. So proud of this. So, uh, like and subscribe.